I need to get some energy. <laughs> Send me some energy. Hello, hello guys. Good morning. William and I have already played magnet tiles. We've played with bugs, dinosaurs. I feel like we've done it all already. <laughs> Um, I need to pack his lunch because we are going to story time at the library and it's been a while since we've been and then he's going to grandma's today. So I'm just setting up a little truck rescue activity. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm not sure, but we're going to give it a go. We have like six or seven trucks here that I'm going to tape up here so we can rescue them. And then this little nifty thing, it's a, kind of like a storage container, but it doubles as a parking lot with a ramp and all and a little car mat. Can you guys see that okay? So I'm gonna have this out so he can play with his trucks after he rescues them. Um, my friend, Michaela and her little one, well, her little one got William that for Christmas, but you know, my friend Michaela picked it out. But I thought that was really cute. And they have a couple different versions online. So no, I thought it was cool. William loves it. Well, maybe I should have done this on the wall. I mean, it is painter's tape, so it shouldn't ruin my paint. But I was just going to do the fridge because I have to make his lunch. And I can kind of talk to him and hopefully extend the activity <laughs> by doing that. Because we are trying to stay away from screens as much as we can during the day, so. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. Yeah, I'm yours, and now we're singing. All right, I am home. Ugh, finally, I felt like that took a lot longer than normal. We definitely were at the library a little longer than normal because William was into it. Not into story time. <laughs> Um, he did not want to go to story time because he wanted to read his bug books. We found three bugs, um, three bugs. We found three books about bugs. So we brought those home. They're actually with him at grandma's right now. So dropped him off there. They're reading bug books and hanging out. I also spent a little extra time at her house while I dropped him off. Um, just cause we had stuff to chat about. And then I stopped at Publix. Nothing too exciting. Just some things we needed, um, like bananas. Literally, Will and William are eating pretty much a banana a day, which is fine. There's way worse snacks to eat, but they don't really last the full week. You know, they get gross. So I went back midweek to get some more bananas, some more eggs. I've been eating a lot of eggs, whether it's hard boiled eggs on a salad or eggs, egg salad or scrambled eggs or something. So just cause cooking meat is still rough. So I had to grab more eggs. And then I also grabbed feta cheese and it was buy one, get one. Publix knew my pregnancy craving apparently. I haven't really had many like cravings. Obviously I've had things like sound better, especially because I was so sick. Like certain things sounded better. I ate kind of the same stuff all the time, but an actual craving other than hibachi. I did have a hibachi craving which I did get. <laughs> um, but other than that, feta cheese is my first real craving. I've been craving it for days. So I'm pumped. I'm actually going to have it on my lunch, which I'm starving. I picked up a couple of these. They're little like quinoa mixes. This one is quinoa and squash, has kale, carrots, sweet potatoes. And I think this one is kind of like asian -y, like has a soy sauce on it if i remember correctly it's been a while since i've had these um and then this one is a mediterranean so this one i'm gonna add some feta cheese on top of for my lunch today and they're just easy things to pop in the microwave william actually likes it shocking and so healthy protein has iron uh 
and I don't have to cook meat or do much cooking at all. And I can put feta cheese on it. So that's gonna be my lunch. Super excited about feta cheese. Just gonna pour so much on that. <laughs> um, then I'm going to probably just have my lunch while I go pay some bills, do some computer stuff <sighs> before I get on to the rest of my list for the day. So that's where we're at currently. And do you guys want a bum shot? I feel like you guys haven't had one in a while. Oh, I also am going to give you guys a little pregnancy update later on. We'll do a little chit chat, tell you how everything's going, but I'll show you a bump shot really fast. So while I'm thinking about it, you cannot see. Here he is. That is a pretty big bump, if you ask me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You can see my belly button in like everything these days. But yeah, growing, I feel like every stinking day. After I made my lunch, which was so good, I have been adding feta to literally everything. It's, it's so good. <laughs> but after I had lunch and did an hour or so of computer work, I decided to tackle my first organization job, which was under the kitchen sink. It just got crazy because we weren't putting things back where they go. When I was sick, we just kind of threw things, you know, and over time it gets crazy. So I was refilling, um, different things with our refills and just putting things back into the correct containers. I also made sure to wash our little turntable and any, um, organizational containers we have just because, you know, over time it gets dusty or, a little bit of cleaner spills or whatever. So made sure to wash those really good and then just kind of put things back in their place and, you know, made it easy to use and functional, which is all that really matters right now. You know, in a perfect world, I would get matching containers and the cute little trash bag, you know, um, holder. I don't know. I've seen those around lately. Just, just make it look nice. But at the end of the day, like I said, it doesn't really matter. And that's just you know, the budget needs to go elsewhere at the moment. This dishwasher soap, trash bags, things we need daily. Those are like the grocery bags that we keep um, and reuse. Back there behind that is all of our refills. So soap and cleaners. And then over here I have our cleaners. I mainly just use this, but I have my other things when I need it. And then um, cleaning cloths, disposable ones, and then non-disposable and then these we have just because we have a toddler and these are like our spill rags that I don't care about um we have nicer kitchen towels in a different area for like like hand towels and stuff back there extra sponges uh you know cleaning cloths different ran kind of random but I definitely organized it and I know where everything is now so I feel much better about this step one done I'm so glad it's done it looks way better but man am I just Glad to be off the floor. <laughs> We're gonna do a little update on a little man and let's open this watermelon poppy soda. I like the grape, orange, and lemon something, and raspberry something, I don't know. Um, flavors, I've never tried the watermelon, so. That is really sweet and does not taste like watermelon. Why does it taste almost cotton candy? I don't know. I was hoping it was gonna taste like this little watermelon soda that was at this Disney thing. Okay, I, side note. <laughs> so at Epcot, it might still be there. I'm not sure, I haven't been in years, but there was this um, little section sponsored by Coca-Cola and they had like Coca-Cola that we know and then all the different um, sodas that they have around the world. And there was a watermelon flavor from, I don't know, China or something, um, something in that region. <laughs> and I loved it. So I was hoping it was going to taste like that, but yeah, no, 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 it does not taste like that. That's besides the point. We're going to do a little mini pregnancy update with baby boy number two. Um, I am 22 weeks pregnant. By the time you see this, I'll be 23 weeks. And I just had my anatomy scan done a couple days ago. It was a little late just because of the holidays and they had to get me in a little later, which was totally fine. But I was, I was like itching to see him and make sure everything was okay. 
Um, not a ton, ton to update you guys on, but I'm trying to think back in between like my last update and now, <laughs> cause you know, things, it's just been a little bit. Um, the main thing that was going on was I wasn't feeling any kicks and I had felt some little flutters around like 13 weeks, which is pretty dang early. And then felt that for a couple weeks and then they stopped and I got really nervous about that, really anxious about that. But then I find out at my scan, I have an anterior placenta, meaning my placenta is on the outside. So it's harder to feel them. Um, of course, like two days before my scan, I started feeling kicks. And now I feel them all the time, honestly. Um, but instead of feeling them like across my belly, where I would normally feel William back in the day, um, I feel this little one's kicks just like super low. So my placenta must be like right there around my belly and then I feel him super duper low. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy everything's okay with that. Um, but the scan went really well. Everything looks awesome. He was very stubborn though to get some pictures. Ooh, we don't need to see his private parts. It is definitely a boy guys. However, <laughs> he was just curled up in a ball. So if you see there's his head, body, butt, and legs. So he was just curled up in this little ball and she couldn't get a good view of his heart and like his spine and some things that you need to check on the anatomy scan because he was in a little ball. And we were there probably for the full 30 minute um, time slot they give us. And I remember with William, it was like, boom, boom, boom. I think we were there for 10 minutes <laughs> for the anatomy scan. So she was really hunting. We finally got all the pictures, but oh my gosh, it hurt so bad. She was really pressing on my stomach in the same spot for a long, long time. And I don't remember a sonogram ever hurting that much, but it wasn't like crazy, but it was like, I'm going to have a bruise, you know? So, um, everything was good. He is about a pound, a little over a pound, she said, which is right on target for my due date. And I'm just happy everything's okay. Like the whole kicking thing, not feeling the kick was really on my mind. Um, as far as how I am feeling, definitely not, not as nauseous. Oh my gosh. Thank the Lord. You guys knew that from over, over the Christmas vlogs. I was kind of updating you guys on how I was feeling. Um, but the tiredness is unreal. I've never been this tired in my life. Not even after giving birth to William and not being not having any sleep for three days. Literally, I did not sleep more than an hour combined in that three day period. And I feel more tired on a daily basis now than I did back then. That might just be the adrenaline of birth, you know, but it's just been crazy. So my doctor is retesting, um, like I'm getting more blood work done to retest my thyroid and just make sure that and everything is looking good. Um, so I don't know, I'm just trying to power through, pretend I have energy and get through the day. Um, other than that, I'm definitely out of breath. <laughs> uh, sleep is not great, but it's not terrible. I know it's just gonna get worse. So I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm enjoying the sleep I am getting. One thing um, that is different from William's pregnancy is I do have back pain, which if you guys have been around, I've had back pain since high school. So when I first got pregnant, I thought I was gonna have really bad back pain and back labor. With William, I had neither. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, but with this one, um, my back pain is actually restarting. So since William, my back hasn't been that bad. I don't know how maybe stretching all that loosened it up. I don't know. But my back pain is definitely starting to get worse and worse the past couple weeks but i have yet to have sciatica pain in a very long time so i'm just knocking on all the wood that that's not going to come back this pregnancy because that is miserable in the middle of the night Ugh. adding in with you know peeing all the time and just being huge at the end so i'm hoping the sciatica stuff just you know does not come about but i do want to get out my pregnancy ball or uh, my exercise ball you guys know what i mean um, I wonder if I have time to look for that before William gets home because I, I honestly should have gotten it out a while ago just to loosen my hips and my back, but I don't want to get it out and just have it laying around because William's going to want to bounce on it 
and he loves it when I, you know, have my hands under his arms and just help him bounce. Well, I don't have like the ab strength and the stability or the energy right now to do that 24 freaking seven. <laughs> so it's kind of like prolonging getting it out. Um, but now that I want it out, I don't even know where I put it because I let my friend borrow it and then I think she returned it. I'm assuming she returned it because she's good at returning stuff. I just have to look. I don't know if I put it in the garage with our exercise stuff or if I put it with the baby pregnancy stuff. I don't know. It won't take me long to find it. I'm sure I just have to do it. And then I have to deal with William wanting to bounce on it all the time or attempting to hide it at, you know, somehow, somehow for the next three, three and a half months. <laughs> um, let's see what else. There's really not much else um, really not much else at my appointment. My blood pressure is great, which is like amazing. She did say I'm gaining a little bit more weight than she would like. So, you know, she said, keep on the exercise. And I said, I'm doing my best. Like I'm doing what I need to survive and take care of my toddler. And then we go on walks and like, I'm active. Like we go to the zoo or, you know, we do stuff, but I'm not like, let's go have a workout because I just do not have that energy right now. And yeah, I don't know. So just watching what I'm eating. I know a lot of it, I think at the beginning, um, a lot of my calories and probably all the weight I've gained um, or the extra weight I've gained is like from drinks like soda or sweet tea or lemonade or something. Cause at the beginning I could not drink water. Now I can. And now I just do that and then have stuff like this, which is like literally barely any calories. You know, this one sucks. I'm sad because I don't have any more for this week. I should have bought more at Publix today. Um, I don't know. The, the weird taste in my mouth I had in my first trimester is kind of back. And I'm just hoping it's like a little couple days phase. And this thing is not going to be forever because I forgot how annoying it was. And I'm just like wanting candy canes or mints all the time or sipping on fizzy drinks. So hopefully that'll go away. But for the most part, that's it. I feel like. I didn't tell you anything, but I rambled forever, <laughs> per usual. But I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll see you guys all in the next vlog, which I don't even know. I need to get on my organizing, guys. I got to get on my organizing kick. We need to get some energy. <laughs> Send me some energy. <laughs> Bye.